What's going on everybody? It's Pride. So today I want to show you the updated version of the Loco Ramp. This is my favorite deck right now. I don't play anything else, uh, even when I'm playing offline. Loco Coco has been an utterly useless card um, in the past. Really hard. Again, very expensive for what it does. It makes two walnuts. Its evolution is also very uh, difficult to pull off since it can't just evolve from anything. It has to evolve Welcome from a back, nut. Brian. So Hope you're making it even better. harder to pull off the, um, the, the evolution. But this deck really puts it together. Uh, since we are ramping, running a ton of ramped, uh, four twin sunflowers, also four sunnier shrooms. Each of these will give you two extra sun. That's what ramp means. Uh, two extra sun every single turn. And you're going to be able to get this in early. Typically, you're going to be playing... Let's say your um, Sunny or Shroom on three, and then on turn four, you can play your local Coco. But that's still not enough. You still need there to be a nut on the field, uh, or else, you know, you're going to be getting a bunch of zero attack guys, and they can be weed sprayed. Um, so, the, the early game cards that you're going to be setting up one is Forget Me Nuts. It's not only as a nut, a very good base for. Loco Coco, but also ensures that your Twin Sunflower and that your Sunny or Shroom are going to actually survive when you play them. It just makes it a lot harder, you know, obviously if you play Forget Me Nuts, they can't play Extinction Event, they can't play um, Weed Spray or, or Knockout, let's say on turn 3. Beam Me Up isn't playable against um, Twin Sunflower if you have a Forget Me Nuts in the field. So having all their tricks cost more really makes uh, the, your ramp cards survive more. Even just setting up a regular Walnut, though, uh, and being able to place these behind it really play around again all the Hunt Minions and all the Teleports and Beam Me Up, stuff like that. Also running in the early game a little bit extra ramp with Primal Sunflower. You can play this on turn one and then play um, Sunny Earth Room on turn two. Sometimes you'll even have like, uh, uh, you'll have a Forget Me Nuts plus a Twin Sunflower to play on turn two. And that will ensure that you're able to ramp up uh, again. And you're just going to have too many things on the field that they're not going to be able to deal with. And Forget Me Nuts really again prevents them from removing your cards. Um, so if you play Twin Sunflower, you gotta have a good 5 drop. So uh, the main one running in this deck is the Pecanoleth. This really justifies all the nuts we're running. We're also running Primal Walnut uh, in this deck, and we're running uh, all the Walnuts and all the Walnuts that also come from the local Coco. Pecanoleth will make everything attack with their health, not only uh, making your cards really OP, it also really messes up zombies that have high attack. Um, the other card, I was thinking of Smackadamia and trying out different things. Astrocado was an idea because the Astrocado pits really good with the Loco Coco sometimes. I really found Allosaurus, though, is just the absolute perfect complement to this deck. Obviously, it doesn't have any nut synergy. It does have 7 health, so it does combine with Pecanal as well, but it just keeps your cards healthy. It's especially good with your high health cards because these can get hit and live, and then they're going to start healing, and it just becomes crazy when you have Pecanalith on the field and they can't, you know, they try doing damage to it and the Allosaurus is healing it. You end up with these three, six Walnuts on the field uh, from your Loco Coco and your Allosaurus is healing. Just a really good compliment, a very good high stat card again, especially if you're playing this on turn three off of a ramp play. What are you doing? Um, <clears throat> so I'm running a couple of blockbusters. It's good with all the little cards that we're running um, in the deck to be able to deal with Gravestones. I was running Cop Cannon as a finisher. Again, very good with all the team ups. Uh, and the walnuts, you can even just play like a loco coco even without upgrading and then one of these 06 walnuts can be used the next turn to be a base for your cop cannon to be removed. Uh, this deck really is the full package, just absolutely love it. Primal Walnut is actually not necessary for this deck, but I really like it because it gives you even more late game. Kind of getting into the late game, it's really nice that you have some heals too that makes the game go long. And then you know, you're playing Primal Walnut, every once in a while this will have 3 attack too if you uh, pull off a loco coco combo. Because this has zero attack. The Loco Coco, of course, also is giving your uh, Twin Sunflower and your Sunny Shroom three attacks. So <laughs> you'll see me pull this up. Anyway, this deck's really, really fun. I might as well just show you a lot to do instead of over explaining. And let's get right into the first game. Uh, if you think this deck will go. I'm gonna go for eight games today. I'm, I'm still feeling well under the weather. First time I'm streaming in about two weeks, I've been sick with a cold. <laughs> Uh, so let's go for eight games. If you think this deck will go... Oh, wow. Six out of eight. Uh, let me actually mulligan. So you want one late game card. This is a pretty good starting hand. You want one late game card, a ramp... A forget me nuts or a primal. The other one being a primal and a forget me nuts is fine. If he plays con man, we go for primal. If he d passes, we go for forget me nuts usually. Um, 
Will I win? <laughs> and uh, we'll 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 start the bets here. Six out of eight is gonna be the bet. Um. They're all right. I guess we'll keep that all in the video. Oh, we for the next game. Thank you, Hooms, for subscribing. I also wanted, in case you guys did not know, I have merch now. Uh, it's at the bottom of the description of every single YouTube video. You can find anything that's come out recently. We literally have mugs. That say we need a leap on it. We have a mug actually that came out that says mug. I'll probably make a po YouTube post about that because that's really cool. I actually bought this mouse pad. I love this design for the mouse pad. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now. Just wanted to really show you guys really high quality stuff. Like I'm not going to be selling you guys garbage. Just wanted to show you guys um, really, really decent, very high quality stuff from Spread Shop. And uh, check it out if you have a chance. All right, that's a fine hand. Uh, so I'll play this here. I'll probably play like Twin Sunflower behind it. Block a little bit of the damage. We'll be able to heal it back if we can get an Allosaurus in. So yeah, man. There is a mug that says mug. I, I don't have it yet because it just came out today. So I'm going to order that and maybe make a little promo for that. Um, we also... Yeah, man. I happen to be streaming this on Black Friday. This YouTube video will probably be out after Black Friday, so I'm going to make a YouTube post about it, but we do have Black Friday sales going on this whole weekend. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, well, I could try for this. I might as well go for it. He probably has a lightning bolt or a bungee here. Wow, he had evaporate. Uh, it means this lives, though, so we can get the Allosaurus in, which is awesome. I'll uh, put this here so we can play the cob next turn and protect this. It's okay. So he's doing some damage. Luckily, we're healing. Alistar is really good, also. You gotta just keep some, you know, it's a late game deck. Um, and you just gotta not get knocked down by these swarms. It's a reason why instead of primal, primal, uh, not, it's probably better just to run catch mechanic. Um, so Cop Cannon looks good. It means we're not ramping anymore. We also could go 4-1-1. One, and one. It's not bad. This also heals a little extra. I think I'm going to go for that. Let's see what we get. Wow, Bucanolith goes a really long way here. Never mind. That's why you got to draw first. I'm going for Bucanolith. Hell yeah. Wait, how does this Boogaloo... Oh, he's just running Grave Robbers. It's crazy, man. Just aggro Boogaloo. If he doesn't have a, a Fruitcake here, though, we're in such good shape. He also really... Fruitcaking it, and then we heal with the Allosaurus. It's not even a great play. That's fine. So this still wins the trade. I don't know why he's... Why is he not killing the, 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 the Twin Sunflower? It doesn't really make sense. I don't think he really calculated that <laughs> He messed up when he won. Anyway. Damn, Pecanolith. Such a, Pecanolith also is such an underrated card. I, whenever I make Pecanolith decks, they win so badly. Really great. Great, great card, unless they're running Rolling Stone. But anyway. Uh, uh, immediate, again, disconnects count as a win. If they disconnect, it counts only as a win if they have at least played one card and I'm clearly ahead. If I'm not ahead, or they haven't played anything, I don't count. <coughs> we just move on in life. 
Uh, so 2-3, and if he removes this, then 2-3. It would be nice to go. It's a little greedy to keep the 6 here. It'd be nice to get, like, a forget-me-nots or another ramp. That's that's better. All right, let's keep those in. Uh, even just to play around Beam Me Up, it's so good to set this up early. Graveyard. No, that was not good enough for a highlight. But y'all see this deck. Maybe I'm just used to the way this deck works, but the deck does that a lot. Uh, just to be able to have the option... Well, I could play both of these. I'm just trying to think where. Alright, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna play you. Probably gonna be Canalot now that we have that. Super Brains really just has no answer. <laughs> Again, this is now protected from teleporting anything. Just set up graveyard. We can actually go Pecanolith and Forget Me Not Serious to make messing up his tricks. See what he does. It could be I'll go for this. The, the Pecanolith is really strong. Is Forget Me Nuts even worth it though to spam it? Is there anything he has that has really high health? Or is really high impact if it hits face on turn three. I don't know. Let's go with Pecanolith. And not Forget Me Nuts. <laughs> oh, it looks like Forget Me Nuts actually would have been useful. He could play Beam Me Up. Smoke Bomb, anyways. It doesn't matter. That's fine, though, because really, he's putting so many resources, including a deadly superpower, which is so good against this, typically. And we still got, like, nine damage in? Ridiculous. And the trade. And we're still ramping. Oh, hey, Pally. Uh, we are running a couple of blockbusters. Don't see him yet. So, five... Five and one looks pretty good. We don't need to have, obviously spend a cop cannon yet. Trapper. It's okay because he's not gonna cover this. The trapper doesn't do anything because we have Allosaurus, just heals up that damage anyway. La da 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 bum. Cop Cannon will be good this turn, because not only does he not have the graveyard, this also has one health. Um, so just dry Cop Cannon. We could go for the, for the Primal and save the Cop Cannon. I think I like it. Let's go for Primal. Let's see what we get. We could get a 4 or a 5 drop from this. Got a 6. I'll go for, uh, I'll, I'll go for this. It, the two damage is worth more than the ramp now. Rocket, okay. So we just need to hit him with anything here. Again, any minion he plays dies to the Cobb Cannon. We can have enough to play both of these? No, close. Um, this dies for free. It's a little interesting, but I'm, I'm actually going to cover this. Now, it doesn't actually kill anything, because the one damage splash kills everything. But yeah, he's dead. Hell yeah! Honestly, once we play Pecanal with Blind Dancing Zombie, wouldn't have done any. It would have done one damage. I've been good. Just coming off of being sick for a couple of weeks. Thanks for stopping by that pal. Um, Alright, so again, we don't see any nuts. We have to strip these sixes. Right now, in this hand, Loco Coco is worse than Cop Can because we don't have a nut. Uh, definitely get rid of the second one. That's a fine starting hand, though. You don't need... Again, we don't have anything to play on turn two, but it's okay. 
Uh, we actually don't even spam this on one against Super Brains, I think. I mean, we could get... If we top deck a Twin Sunflower... Otherwise, this is just exposed next turn. I'm going to play this on two. This on three. I'm going to go from there. You can play this deck a little slow. <coughs> Since we have the Laking. He doesn't really have any tricks. He wants to play on turn one except for Telepathy. And it's not really that important to stop it, you know? So, I'm gonna play Forget-Me-Nots. Um, I have, you know, a decision. Should I try to deny his legendaries? We have answers to these cards he's getting with the Cobb Cannons. Or should I try to make my play stronger next turn? I'm gonna go for making my play stronger. Also, this, if we happen to get a Loco Coco. Ah, this will come in handy. I, you know, you can very often spam Uncrackable, by the way. Um, in this deck early, just for a card. I happen to get Loco Coco now. Um, see this again, it's probably not a smelly zombie. It's almost never. There's no four cost legendary gravestones, right? I don't think so. They would have gone from buried treasure. If it's smelly zombie, this sucks. It might be worth it to say. I think this is better. Because against everything that's not smelly zombie, that protects the card and it ramps, and we can actually pull off like a loco coco now. We can do a lot of things. Well, we'll probably go for it. Well, we'll see. Uncrackable, you know, I feel like he might end up with, like, space times, I guess, like, kite flyers, so this will deny face. You're not really... You're, you're kind of, like, in this deck, you don't really need Uncrackable to protect yourself. <laughs> kind of weird, because you end up with such a field anyway. Um, Allosaurus is not a terrible idea here, either. I, I you know, I can cover the Forget-Me-Nuts, which is good. Allosaurus ain't a bad play, though. I'm gonna go for the Loco play. I think this is the safest. This becomes a 3-2, by the way, which is so cool. It means we don't... Uh, well, we do have Damn, no, we don't. <laughs> <coughs> but we're coming up on turn 5, so we'll just play Allosaurus. We're doing it. So many trapper territories. A disproportionate amount of trapper territories today. Look how much value Allosaurus gets with all these high health minions, guys. I honestly thought that was gonna be Pogo, that's why I opted for the Loco Coco. It turns out to be Trapper. To fake out the mind games. Just for mustache wax here. He's running this? Okay. Why? Uh, so he goes all in on Supernova Garg. Um, Allosaurus in front should be good. Now, it kills both of these if we put it behind, but 4 plus 3 does equal 7. So this will go here and protect him from killing both of my Walnuts. This Walnut's a 3-6. It's a strong card. And uh, we'll heal back some of this here. We can uncrackable. We can also just cop cannon whatever he plays here, so we're in great shape. We also can heal, but this will go to three. We can get it back up to five health by playing Allosaurus uncrackable now. It'll heal our entire field back up. <laughs> Such a good combo. Really good with uncrackable and walnut and all that. Cool. What else you got? Cop Cannon's definitely viable, though. Put it here. Uh, did the YouTube stream not happen? Oh, thanks, guys. I don't think we cop. We'll save the- the cops are really, really useful later. We're gonna hit him with this. And we'll, we'll spam this for uh, extra two healing. Ridiculous. With three cop get. Like, what hand can he have that beats this? Think about it. Damn, that's so annoying. But we will kill that with the cop cannon next turn. <coughs> la 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 la. Super annoying. 
We're still doing three, proc the block. Oh, yes. So this was the second Buried Treasure. Supernova Guard being the first. Look at the heals, though. He can't damage it. It's such a tempo car. Allosaurus also super underrated. So I can cover covering a 3-6. That's a very expensive card to use for a base of a Cobb Cannon. But really, what's better? His 6-5 or my 3-6? Probably a 6-5 is better. It also kills us for free. <coughs> Obviously, if he spams a, uh, you know... What's the seven class dinosaur? I don't even remember now. Sorry, Brainy no worky. Result of wow. He's actually running gadget scientist, so he gets zero damage for free. Uh thanks for the heals. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Yeah, it's just cop. Too bad we can't use the twin sunflower on the cop. You don't have enough uh, sun for that. It's gonna be copping too though. Strong play. Yeah, we actually just win, too. I mean, he could have Chop. Does he have a superpower still? I don't remember. Used. Polo Flora. He could have Chop. Honestly, this deck doesn't like really die that hard to sneezing. It denies one of my cards, and we can do four. This deck does four damage very easily. It's not like we're gonna be helpless. Okay. So he has super brain super. So he'll block this, just trying to stay alive. But again, these two die for free, and everything is just gonna be back to full health, basically. Isn't this deck fun? This is hilarious. Now we can actually use this for a base for another cow cannon. We're on 20 health, by the way. <laughs> it's so robust, bro. Would Pepper MD be good? Again, you're not reliably getting this much healing with the deck. You'd have to start running other heals for Pepper MD to be viable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just four Allosaurus, otherwise Pepper and D's a two cost two too, it's not good. Um Yeah, we just uh we just continue to kill this guy. We have so many cop cannons, I can just spend one to, to clear up a lane and kill a cowboy. It's not even a hard decision. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> Survive this. Got him! Teleport Swabby, teleport Swabby. That that would make him survive. <coughs> what are the bets, by the way, for six out of eight? Easy bets. Yeah. Yeah. Switch those and yeah. The bets are 71% on yes. Smart. Didn't this deck go 10 and 0 the first time we tried it? This, this version's even better. I really been working on it. Honestly, for it to be like the ultimate version of the deck, it, we, we would probably need to get rid of these, which are fun. It's like the fun version, and then we'll we'll just put in like, I mean, there's so many things, but the real thing we would need is just catch up mechanics for a little extra heals. Is now putting a prep MD? I feel like it would ruin it. I know it. it we'll, we'll have one fewer nut, which is annoying. Where is catch up mechanic? It's not as many nuts now for the loco. It's just these two and then the walnut or a different loco, but <clears throat> it's still okay. You're very uh, rarely using a three drop for a loco anyway. <coughs> we need a leap. We need Honestly, a leap. I just don't want to die to like a tempo boogaloo or a tempo z mech back that can answer the twin sunflower. Also, that, that, that's going to beat this deck 100% of the time if we're not I running catch up. Did I capture that screenshot? Yeah. This is really the the the, the 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 real the really strong version. That doesn't really have. I don't even know the weaknesses of this deck. Are. Think of Loco Coco as a instant. It's almost like an instant three nut. Kind of weird. That only like costs one card. I guess it costs two cards. 
So you don't want to go for Pecan Elf against Rust Bowl. I'm actually getting rid of really looking for Allosaurus and Cobb Cannon here. Um, I'll, I'll keep the Walnut. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Hover Melon. Why did your streak reset? I don't know. I don't know how the streaks work. Uh, this should be okay. We usually try to set these and forget me nuts in the middle in the eventuality of getting Loco Coca. You want it to be neither two or three. It probably should be going in two, but I have this tendency to do three for some reason. Uh, in case that's a sumo, we'll just pass here. We're not ramping anything on five anyway. There's really no need to. It's it, it's likely it's going to be teleportation zombie, but there's no need to force it. Because we're not we don't we don't have a five drop in here. Top deck one though. But this is good. He's all in. That is definitely what we want to see. So we go for um it, we're gonna go for twin here, and probably loco coco. So I wanna set this up in a lane where it'll be naturally protected next turn. That's really good. Here's Coach. Is Loco still the right play? I think it is. We're gonna Loco now. This wall that goes in front, I'm pretty sure it does. And we can actually, all this damage we're taking, we just heal back up with the heal next turn. So it's it's a setup play. It doesn't, you know, it's weak because we're taking a lot more damage now to our minions, but uh and we have Kaiser, we'll be okay. Thanks everyone coming over from YouTube. Just getting back. I've been uploading regularly on YouTube just because we had all these streams left over. You know, it just takes a couple of weeks sometimes to upload, so just been spreading them out. Really love to get back into streaming though. Man, he's another coach. Um, so it's gonna be It's gonna be Geyser. We have catch a mechanic coming up. We're gonna play this preemptively. Should I let him hit my face instead of hitting this, this minion? Uh, I think this is fine. It just takes less minion damage. <laughs> this up for get me nuts doesn't really matter here. Now we can go for Cobb. Surfboard. You know, there's really no need to force it here. Nothing is dying. I'm gonna go for catch a mechanic, which is a, a six six here. Really, really good. And I think I'll just set this up for next turn again. Really, no need to force anything. Blockbuster will be really good if he's running Rodeo Gark. So we'll save that. Let's see if he has. Oh, he has chop. That's okay. See if he has going viral. No. So again, all this is just getting healed. Love to see it. We can cover. You know, we have a few weak minions here, but they're team ups. So we can cover them. This will just keep because then it heals again. <laughs> Every time you block, you just get extra tempo on the field with these high health minions. And what is this guy gonna do now? What a board. Uh, if he plays a gravestone, I'll, I'll probably block bust plus cop cannon here. Cop cannon looks like it's gonna be really happy right here though. It's going for Batman Rising. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Cobb Cannon, I guess we kill the 4-6. 
I don't want to kill a 3-5 here. It's, it's a strong minion. So I'm going to cover this. I mean, right now, this takes 2 plus 2. Actually, once we play this, it heals. Uh, should I take out the 4-3? Nah, let's go face. It's so much damage. Then we play you. And uh, Forget Me Nuts is better than Ramp here. Go for that. This prevents him from playing out on Escape Through Time or Beam Me Up. But anyway, here's six, nine, and you're dead. <laughs> ah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Should make more RNG decks. Hmm. Maybe. On Deck Friday, you guys got a lot of good ideas. Give me some, uh... Give me some time to get back into things. I can't really process new ideas. I've been sick for two weeks and... Just trying to get back in the swing of streaming here. So these are good against we we're really they're not gonna keep blockbuster no matter what. Let's get rid of that first. We have to just prioritize. I think healing's probably gonna be better than Picanoleth. Picanoleth and this could work together though. I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of the okay. We still need an early game card, so we'll get rid of Coco. We have, you know, plenty of like it. <laughs> so we end up I think this first game end up with no one or two. Uh, really happy to see that Zemak is not playing Con Man here or something fast because that would uh, screw us. We do have Catch a Mechanic for turn three though. If we need. They don't have to ramp by the way, especially with this version with Catch a Mechanic in it. If we play this and it gets Lightning Bolted, it's fine. It just means you know a Lightning Bolt is better card than a than than the three drop. So this trading is okay. Wow, going for Flag Swarm on life. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Uh, probably gonna catch up here. I mean, if I play this, it means we can play a 6 next turn. <laughs> I just have to think ahead a couple of turns here. What would I do if I ended up ramping? This'll, this'll be a, this will kill the, the unlife. I can cob cannon. What can I do with 6 that would be that good? It means I'm not killing anything so the unlife can't grow. Uh, on the other hand, this can just die to a lightning bolt. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this way. We're not actually healing though at all. He probably does kill this though. Let us. What am I doing next turn though is the real question. I don't know. <laughs> he does use the lightning bolt. Now I can set up ramp here. We're still taking plenty of damage, but we also have plenty of other stuff happening. We have Allosaurus. It's just about surviving right now. My gosh, we don't actually have a place to set up the ramp anymore. So I'm just gonna use this to block damage, really sad. Actually, if I block and get I should have actually gone here, because if I block and get a walnut, I definitely spend that there. I should have played it in lane three. It's just about survival now. Maybe it's spending this is correct. Damn, I should have gotten a lane three just in case he rolls a one. Walnut. Uh, I can't play this for another couple turns, so I'm gonna do it right now to prevent seven damage. So, 4, 5, 9, and 4 does kill us. So we have to be Canaleth. Then it'll be 5, 4, because 9 and 3 does not kill us. Is 
This might be the game we lose just because we didn't hit early game. We're still alive. We also have a block. Okay. Uh, so Allosaurus heal, I think, is the play. Allosaurus will go here. We have to block anyway. They're both doing five damage. But if we don't, if he doesn't roll one here, we're fine. We're actually like really in the game. Maybe because of the cob cannon though for next turn. Now let's just get rid of this guy. Get rid of the more powerful guy. Come on. So we have to just, he has to just not roll a 1 and we're okay. We might be able to come back and win this. Yes. Um, this is fine. Yep, prevents damage too. It's also a base for cop cam. Also extra heals. That survives. That survives. We actually might come back and win this now, guys. The come from behind victory. Look at the Picano. Picano makes it that when you get the walnut power, I mean, think of what that did. It blocked this minion. It did six damage to this minion. Healed all our cards for one. Healed our face for one. I mean, that was just uh, the walnut superpower, man. The nut signal is—it's just that's just busted, man. So now we cob cannon, and we should be good. We should actually win this game now. Only has one card. I'll cover this lane, so why not? He can't really teleport anything, right? He's <laughs> so done! And that's it! There's no way for him to come back. He's Dmac is not a come from behind hero. <laughs> and that's it. He's done. Done Julio. The hell out of here, bro. Five and zero. Can't believe we won that game. What a miracle. Neptuna. Start and over. I don't have a nut, so get rid of that. Blockbuster you do keep against Neptuna. I think uh, this is a little greedy now. That's fine. Gotta keep a lake in card to ramp to. So we got one, two, three. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I, that might that maybe is a highlight comp game. Uh, so we'll definitely go for the ramp here. Um, I'm gonna set this up here again because the walnut usually ends up. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do again about Sumo next turn, to be honest. You can't kill both of the ramp guards though, so at least Blockbuster will be available. Oh, there's the ramp. There's the nut, man. Um, this deck is pretty crazy. Wow, he passed! I'm so happy he passed. So this always goes here. Should I play for Neptuna Super though? Is there anything he can do? He can't like laser base. I'm just trying to think of he is there any will he can Rolling Stone now. I just Rolling Stone. I'm gonna actually put this here. And this will go here. He can't laser base. Oh. I'm just playing around like I'm just playing around um uh his his Neptuna super. This is fine. <coughs> First round we're keeping track of the viewers. Okay, so he did Rolling Stone. So it means that we have Blockbuster coming up, which is fine. And the gravestone usually ends up here. So we can keep ramping, and then we'll get Allosaurus on turn four. So this little bit of ramp is actually playing a significant factor here against that rolling stone. Yes, it's block. This is fine, right? We do that. Well, is this the blockbuster or do we wait? I mean, I could just I could just 
The Blockbuster also kills the headstone. No, I, I, I gotta spend this. I know Blockbuster does so much more against the Gravestone deck on turns 4 and 5, but this is killing a flame face, keeping the ramp going, so it means we have Allosaurus next turn. It also kills Headstone Carver. It also kills a 3-5, which was just so strong. The Headstone Carver has to die. He's getting too much value from it. I almost might protect the, the Twin Sunflower with a Walnut here. Is that crazy to do that? It's probably Allosaurus, Allosaurus. Let's just be smart. I'm thinking if we protect it, we can local cook next turn. Oh, that's stupid. Don't mind it. <laughs> Allosaurus on four, Allosaurus on five. Neptune is not going to be able to deal with that crap. Even if the opponent has a pogo now, it's only going to take out one of them. Great, you do extra damage. Wonderful, which I'm healing. That's not a good frenzy. Gotta get more value from the frenzy, man. <laughs> Uh, so we hold the bubble to heal. Oh, we'll use the bubble later. That's not... There's Mug. Uh, let's cheat. Flame face is in the water lane. The Mug is in the middle. And then Octo. So it's Octo Mug. Octo's here. The mug is the mug is sad. I, I probably just set up Allosaurus though. Let's just be disciplined. If we're going for double catch up, maybe I should just go face here. In fact, I do think I go face. Cause then catch catch up catch up is just so good next turn. It'll just have an ex they'll, they'll have extra woman stats. I don't need to kill a 3-2 here. We're sitting on 17 health for fire. Again, we would have had the blockbuster for a mug, but we would have been much further behind them. We're, we're not actually behind now. We're actually ahead. But we need to do 3 damage. Candleth ain't a bad idea either. Oh, I'm probably going for Candleth here now. One of them could be a pogo. These are going to be 4-4s. Four no, I'm going for Candleth. Screw it. Um, we want the, the, the Walnut to be against the 5-2, I think. So let's go like this. If one of them is not a Pogo, we are in such great shape. Because the Candleth lives. Yes! Boy, get out of here, man! Oh, you're dead! Bro, you're dead! <laughs> Uh, so now what? Sorry, I completely spaced out there. Um, but it's gonna be... It's gonna be you. It's gonna be me. Do we bubble? There's no need to bubble, right? There's absolutely no need to bubble here. I spaced out because I was writing on the highlight. Oh my god. Uh, I'll keep that since we have two Allosauruses on the field. La la la, extra heals. And the man is dead as toast. Yes, got it. Easy. There are six in there. Oh, fuck.
Why did I evolve it? Oh, I don't know. The player on Rolling Stone? You're right, probably not evolving was better. I don't remember. Sorry, my, I, I just tried to write down a highlight while I was playing a game. I feel like I just traveled to a different planet and came back. I'm still sick. Uh, so we'll get rid of you. We have another five, though. Okay, so how do we do this? One, two, three? Yes, we keep this. It's too many things to rolling stuff. This isn't the same guy, right? We don't play the same guy twice. Nope. Different Neptuno. <laughs> is this best deck in the game? I think this shows how good Ramp Package is. Now, is this the absolute best deck in the game? What it brings to a tournament? It would be very niche. Very, very niche. Uh, in, a, in a really highly grinding competitive setting. But this is a... I mean, I'm talking about just using this on... Using this in ranked. I mean... This is just a really, it's a really, really solid deck. You see we're six now. The answer is yes already, right? Wow. Am I insane to, 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 I mean, to actually try to, no, I don't Don't be stupid, Pride. We're in a late game deck. We're going to play control. Yeah, but the answer is yes already, man. Right? So, congrats to you guys. There's that. See, now we can do this, but I love it. And the, again, the one attack. I'm so happy this is on heights, because on ground, he could play laser next turn. It would really ruin our day. Uh, this is going to... We actually win this trade. <laughs> so we don't have anything to ramp yet. Okay. See, I actually might use my super here, especially if he plays another space time or like a, 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 a dinosaur. You, you can use this to draw a card sometimes. It's space time. No, it's not. Try experiment is fine. You can actually do that because then you play a card next to it and then you have two threats. It's a must answer one drop even on turn one, so it's actually not a not a terrible play. Uh, genetic experiment on one. See, what I'm really doing this is I want another ramp card. A catch a mechanic wouldn't be bad. Half of our deck is playable here. Look at look at the, the deck image. Half of them cost three or less. So I'm gonna play this for a for a card. That was not what I needed, but we're still in good shape because we got Allosaurus coming up on turn four. And we got Cobb Cannon and we got everything we need. <laughs> we're fine. They used the model of Swashbuck there for a gift. Yeah, they, they used a lot of... Well, there's a lot of those in this game. Guys, we're, we are in such good shape here. Words cannot describe how good shape we are in right now. He's just spamming. He's drawing a lot of cards, but we're going to set up. The tempo on the board is just... It's not. It's not going to be okay. This actually heals. So this is not doing... I don't know why he frenzied that. This being alive for an extra turn doesn't do anything. Play Mix of Grave Digger. Warlord. Sheesh. This still dies though. Oh, yeah. Um, so Aloe is probably the most solid play here. Is there a real need to cop cannon? Not really. Let's just Aloe. It's a solid tempo play. I, I, I think also the face damage coming in is not as significant. You usually want your cop cannons, your local cocos to be in mid, in the middle lane, so I'm gonna put this here. The one extra damage doesn't really make a difference. Different between a 2 2 on the field. Or a 3-3. Three, three. The positioning is actually so poor in this deck. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Warlord, though, not a terrible play from him. Because it just means all five cards in his hand are really OP. I'll likely just spam a cop. Wow! So he goes Mug. <laughs> So it's it's five one three, and I don't think it makes a difference here. I think we just block bust this crap, man. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. It's five one three. I mean, I could. Nah, just spend it, man. Just spend. It. He ain't coming back from this game, man. Right, we're bottoming with an Allosaurus. This is stupid, man. It also denies Macardra. Eh, that's fine. A, a little bit of a reluctant blockbuster, but I'll take it. Look at the heals, though. Huh? 
His hand is OP though. I mean, all these cards are buffed. Now he has a really low curve, which is not what he wants. Honestly, we killed our own Allosaurus in the process. That wasn't like the most amazing blockbuster because of that, but... Honestly, I'm just gonna keep doing this. More Allos. Keep the tempo going. Uh, so lane 3 actually hits, but it's okay, it just opens. Now I'll probably just Loco Coco there and we'll be okay. Walnuts are so good because they heal. They just keep our guys from taking damage, and then they heal up from the Allos. It's crazy. Cop? Is Cop playable? There's three cop cannons, so might as well spam one, right? Oh, I can do I can do a loco combo too. It's not bad. Cause then we'll get three sixes and this will also be a three six. I probably will go loco here. It also gives us options for the cop later. It was still a good blockbuster, but I think about what we killed on our side. We killed a whole Allosaurus for it. Wasn't that good. Think about trading Allosaurus for Mixed Up Gravedigger, which Allosaurus is better. And then we spent one card and Blockbuster get a 3 3. My gosh, she's doing this again. Uh, I should probably take a peek under the hood here. I'll just click on any of the cards while he's going in. So it's going to be 1, 2, 5, 2. 1, 2, 5, 2. It's still fine. I'm still doing it. I know this dies. The Loco Coco itself dies, but it makes it puts it puts a bunch of three sixes on the field. I think it's good enough. He's literally just gonna run out of cards. <laughs> Going viral doesn't do a damn thing. Everything dies, so. Don't make it there. He does. He, well, you know, it doesn't do any extra damage. Think of what I could get from the top of my deck right now. Anything is good. I guess primal. Um, primal sun. Primal sunflower won't be that good. Okay. No, oh, look. I'm healing everything for two. That's nice. Uh, getting a team up wouldn't be bad. That's fine. That's all I need. All I need. <coughs> wow. Where the hell did you get that Valk from? Alright, kill that Valk. I'm, I might use the bubble to manipulate lanes here a little bit. Instead of 6-6 six, six dying, the 3-6 dies. Well, maybe this is better. I'll, I'll just do it like this. This is what he needs to stay in this game, so... Just play around going viral or whatever. Oh, now I could bubble. Oh yeah, now bubbling is good. Let's do it like... That's the plan. I was gonna bubble first, though. Didn't make sense. Yeah, I got right. <laughs> None of his superpowers really do anything here. I guess it'd be blue, like. Okay, Grant. I almost clicked on the mug going into the grave there just from instinct. I really trained myself when I was in the, playing in that tournament to always click on mugs when I see them. I was expecting to play against a lot. Didn't end up playing against a lot, but I was expecting to. Alright, well, everything's full of health. La 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 la. I want to be ninja. I need another blockbuster, y'all. Uh, I think I'm gonna play around him having like a laser based alpha and actually kill this freaking ninja. I'm too scared. 
Like, what do you bounce, though? <laughs> Save your face, makes sense. What do you bounce? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was good bounces. But he has no cards. I hate how this goes down to 06. See, 3 not if it gets bounced, it stays as a 3 6 in your hand. But that's because 3 not changes the stats to the 3 6. Ah, Aloha Coco just gives a 3 three attack buff. <coughs> so that's why the buff buffs leave when it goes in your hand. Kachan. So we can play all these. Kachan, more like Bit John. Got him. Look at this field. The man wants to play PvP heroes, and I'm not letting him. This deck's gonna go 100% win rate again. Holy crap. Did anyone else get the thing in the news? Okay, before we do the last game, I have to show you something. Um, it starts with the letter R, and I'm not gonna say the word because I don't want to get banned. But uh, guys, don't get offended because this is... This is really stupid. This is the announcement. Heroes, have you tried the daily challenge today? Then what are you waiting for? Time to kick some grass. Okay, we'll give you a pass. And explore the world PvZ heroes. Collect unique plan and zombie hero cards. Like you're doing that in the daily challenge. You're collecting cards. Build your deck and diversify your skills and test your deck against other players in exciting real-time PvP duels. Are we still talking about the daily challenge or is this a separate thing? Were they planning to go Hearthstone and make the daily challenges actually PvP? Great idea, by the way. That would have been amazing. I don't want to do the same freaking daily challenge every single time. I don't want to do a puzzle party. I want I want me to have all Eurekas, and they're going to have all reincarnations. I want to fight actual people like that and play it as many times as I want. That would be amazing. Put on your battle hats and jump into the arena. So we are still talking about... We are... I, guys. <laughs> this... <laughs> more are you allowed to say moronic? Are you allowed to make fun of stupid people? What the hell is this? This is idiocy. I don't know what this is just also 2022 this just pops in. Man, man. This is just like the epitome of a gaming studio just completely just forsaking their work. Oh that sucks, man. That sucks. I don't know what I don't know what that was, but it sucks. I still don't know what I just saw. Let me know if you can decipher the message from. <laughs> that was probably like put into the game like years ago. <laughs> Which one of these cards are better in this matchup? Probably Forget Me Nuts is better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> Wow. If he goes in, I don't even forget me nuts. I'm just, I'm just doing this crap. Now, where, what lanes is this going? I guess forget me nuts wants to be on heights. Uh, let's go here. EA Sports, get in the game. What's going on there? The silly, silly. Uh, you can't really teleport anything. I think I still like this better. <coughs> wow, going for cry mustache. Nice. Um, so yeah, does he actually have a way of killing a 0-7? You know what? Screw it, I'm going to face. <laughs> it's a little bit greedy not, you know, to take the damage this turn and not buff these to three sixes in case the Pecanolith dies, but I just don't see this dying anytime soon. <laughs> okay, fine, that's fine. I'll, I'll take the, the, I don't know how much, 16 damage here? It's okay. God damn it. Alright, that's fine. So this is why now these cards are not very useful. That's why probably better dry to just dry cop cannon would have been the better of the play there. It's okay. So 
We probably want to stack these, but I want to kill this one. So I'm going to go... I guess we'll do it like this. And we'll kill this one. If we get another Loco Coco, we'll put it wherever. So. Bye bye. So we hit him once for eight here, so now four damage just killed him. Which is nice. It means like these two cards will kill him. This is probably gonna be the turn, unless he spams a bunch of guys. We're probably actually always gonna just spam this for a card. Yep. That was not what we needed. Is putting a 2 2 on the field right now again? You can't Zombot stuff. Uh, probably putting a 2 2 on the field right now in terms of pressure of dealing with two shots of two damage is actually worth it. So let's go for it. <coughs> Acid rain doesn't matter. It also costs three. <laughs> we have so many forget me. Alright, guys, well. If you needed convincing that Ramp Loco Coco is viable, this is actually the second 100% stream we've done, and they're probably going to be close to each other. In fact, the name of this stream will probably end up being, like on YouTube, probably be, if you needed any more convincing how good this deck is, we're going to win 100... This is... We went 10-0 the first time, I, I think. If I, again, it was three weeks ago since I haven't streamed in two weeks. But... We went 10-0 the first time, we went 8-0 the second time. And honestly, this is even better. This is the ultimate version. Almost won a third blockbuster just because of all the mugs, man. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, guys, Loco Coco at its finest, Picanolith at its finest, Allosaurus at its finest, Cobb Cannon, Rampant. I mean, this deck just brings out the potential of so many things, man. Especially the Loco Coco. This is, I mean, Loco Coco is viable. I'm going to say... OP, but it's it's viable in this deck, man. Love it. Walnut. This is the best deck for Walnut. You know what I mean? Damn, Walnut's so good. Protecting your ramp cards in the early game and then being a base for Cop Cannon and Loco Coco and combining with Allosaurus it synergizes and it synergizes with Picanolith, man. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, this is my favorite deck. This is my this is my favorite deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. It's definitely going on YouTube. Peace. This is Friday. Hell yeah.